What is happening guys? So over the past two or so months I've been in a competition. You guys have been following this build. This is the TIE Fighter PC that I've built. But I wanted to take this opportunity to show you guys a little bit of everyone's build just to see the final result and progress. And hopefully guys can uh, share them some love and some support. Um, because they're a bunch of great guys and I'm very glad to be in this competition with them and work alongside them. Some of these guys have been absolutely inspirational to me coming into the modding community so I just want to show a bit of support back to them and show you guys a little bit of what they've done. So because you guys have seen my build I'll just start off with mine. You guys have seen the final results, you know what it looks like and then we'll quickly move along and just give a brief sort of overview of everyone's build and show you the final product just so you guys can see the amazing work that people are capable of out in the modding community so i hope you guys enjoy so starting off with my build guys this is my tie fighter pc as you can see there built from the ground up used a lot of the main features of the core p5 in this build so a lot of the mothers actually use the core p5 itself um, whereas i thought I might ask Thermal Tape just to see if I can use the main features, which was okay with them, so that's what I went ahead and did. So the build started basically with a frame, and then I built up from there. I used some moldable aluminium to make the main chassis part, and then I used some bog to make the ball, and also went over that with some fiberglass, and then a three millimeter layer of body filler so that I could etch the panel details into it. So that's basically how I achieved this look here, and it's just got liquid cooling throughout. So I hope you guys like my build. Let's move on to the next one. So guys, this build is called Piracy and Prophecy by Ali Abbas. He is representing Germany. This is his entry into the Thermaltake case mod Invitational. And as you can see there, the Core P5, the main feature there, and he built around it and tried to make it a sort of pirate ship theme. And to be quite honest it actually turned out really good and he's put a lot of detail work into this guys um, there's I mean no amount of work can absolutely commend this like this is an amazing build and I just love all the little details he's even got a little flip out screen that's motorized so you just pretty much flick a button and it flips out and you can use that as a desktop and also all of these little skulls all over it with the lights and everything in there to make the eyes light up. So lots of little details and he really needs to be commended for this. So if you guys can show him some love on Facebook and everything, I'll try and leave all of their links down below or at least the links to their forum threads. So just share him some love. Um, obviously fully liquid cooled, fully functional computer lots and lots of detail so there's the screen right there that i was talking about at the side there it flips out and flips back in to hide away so i hope you guys like this build so guys this is peter brand's build representing the netherlands his entry into the film take case mod invitational and as you can see here it is a desk pc two core p5s mounted to the wall looks like they're floating and then he's got the nice rog logo from the monitor illuminating the ground so very nice look lots of leds which really make the build stand out and a really nice liquid cooling loop always complex with his builds which makes them stand out and overall a really great and clean design i'd be very happy to have a desk like this in my house to game on and especially with that nice wide monitor there and overall just fantastic color scheme that he's gone with. He's actually made the mouse pad glow underneath, put some acrylic cut to size. So really fantastic work there. Really highlights everything, all the light work. It's not too overpowering. Different lighting options. The nice Avixia RAM in there. Overall, a really great design. So well done, Peter. Here is our next build, guys, for the Thermotake Case Mod Invitational. This is by Darwin PC. You can check him out on Facebook. Does some amazing builds. As you can see there, two white Core P5s. Lots of liquid cooling. Those monster radiators. Absolutely keeping those two cards cool, no doubt. And overall, a really nice color scheme. The green and white. The cable management is on point. Nice and clean work there. All these attention to detail things, that's what sort of gets you on top. And really nice tube bends there, as you can see. Some really nice long hard bends. 
um, you can see he's actually really good at this and he has a keen eye for detail um, which is great in these type of computers because when you're up against the best and well-known people you sort of need to make these things right the new thermal take um, flow meters in the build they're actually looking really nice um, wish I could have had a couple for my own because they look amazing I love them um, and overall a really clean design nice concept the green and white very very clean indeed so thank you for sharing that build with us Darwin PC Adam um, fantastic work man okay guys so this build is on the Core P5 this is by Twister um, Daniel from Italy and really overall nice clean design you can see that he's made a custom reservoir and painted some things black and put a nice design over his radiators he's also mounted his radiator sideways for a nice clean look that nice red liquid through there overall a really clean design which I really like and especially next to that ultra wide monitor there that you can see so not a lot more to show you guys not many images but overall clean design fantastic certainly deserves some appreciation so guys go check out his Facebook page and um, show him some love this build is by Laurent representing France this is his entry for the thermal take case mod invitational as you can see there it is all vinyl wrapped a nice wooden grain I love how he's kept with a, a color scheme and everything and he's just stuck with that wooden grain throughout to represent the wood in the desk so what he's done here is he has attached a core P5 onto some draw sliders and then that slides into the desk a really smart design there and then he's also put the tabletop on top of those core P5 acrylic holders so he's put them on the desk and overall a really clean design um, if you like this design you can visit them on water mod on their Facebook page show them some love so this is all timber guys and it just simply slides in I'll find the final result here and here is the whole setup guys so obviously no keyboard or mouse yet but the end result is phenomenal a really clean design guys and I know a lot of you guys will appreciate how clean that is and overall I love how you can see the components through the top of the glass so I hope you guys enjoyed this one and move on to the next one so this is the Vietnam's entry build into the thermal take case mod invitational guys his name is Tommy Motta on Facebook if you want to check him out he's got a couple of accounts sorry I don't know his proper name I, well, I can't pronounce it but anyway that does not matter check out this build guys lots of crazy liquid cooling work as you can see there testing out all the lighting and I really like how he's lit up the TTE Sports and Film Take logos on this one. So we'll go down below and this guy is known for all of those twisty coil loops that he does. Fantastic work to get those ones spot on. Um, absolutely amazing. I like the color scheme, the green and orange that he's gone with. And overall a nice clean design. You can see that he's actually made a custom reservoir with a flag on there so he's got the Vietnam flag and overall a nice clean design and clean concept uh, as I scroll down more you can see lots of color lots of vibrance two core P5s joined together with lots of sick liquid cooling work now this guy is really 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 good at making custom stuff so you guys need to check him out on Facebook lots of water blocks reservoirs everything you can think of he's got the machinery to do it so he even made the fan grills on the radiator down below as you can see right now and just a clean awesome loop clean nice design good work man and here we have Ronnie Hara's entry into the Thermal Take Case Mod Invitational representing Japan. He's gone with an Ant-Man theme and as you can see there lots of carbon fiber and he's airbrushed that for the red accents and overall a nice clean design. He's got a really nice artwork that he's made on the case window there at the front. Sticking with the theme throughout and it has really paid off. The nice acrylic um, Ant-Man logo that you can see there very clean and nice design and nice concept so I really like how he's gone with the theme and just 
stuck with it throughout. So, and believe it or not, guys, this is a thermal take Core P5. Obviously, he has extended it and built onto it to make it into a normal case. So, I hope you guys love this design because I certainly do. Lots of custom panels there, and we'll move on to the next one. So this build here is by Mike from Belgium. As you can see, there's some custom sleeve cables filling the build. He has that GPU mounted on the side there. Very different from everyone else. A really nice work there. The loop, fantastic as always. A nice red and black themed build. And he's also got some custom laser work done on some of his panels. As you can see down there, those nice clean cuts. And overall, a fantastic design, and I really like the red and black theme that he's gone for and stuck with it consistently. Painted the power supply, guys, as you can see in this photo coming up now, and just fantastic work overall. So it really needs to be commended. Show him some love, guys. Visit his thread on the Thermal Take forums. Remember, all the threads will be linked down below. Okay guys, this is Ice Wolf Chan's entry to the Thermal Take K-Spot Invitational. He is representing China and what a build we have here, the Core P5 in the middle with lots of custom panels and custom liquid cooling. As you can see there, coming up now we have some tubes that he's made himself. So fantastic designs there, it even looks like the reservoir is made. Just lots of custom work there and a great looking rig indeed. Sticking with a color theme guys, you can see black and red and those RAM blocks looking stunning as always and overall a really clean and nice design. I love his logo work there and I love how the radiators have that slight tilt on it down the bottom and it gives it a nice way to stand up looking nice and proud and he should be proud of this build. Show him some love guys, get on the Thermal Tape forums and leave him a comment. And representing USA, Kurt Scuff, this is his entry into the Thermal Tape Case Mod Invitational. A very, very nice build indeed. You can see there he's got a mirror on the top reflecting the tubes in the build. He's gone with actually cleared liquid and he's actually added some little LED bulbs into all of the fittings to make the tubes glow red. So that's a really smart and nice idea. Um, I really like the concept there. As you can see there, he's actually drilled out the cable holes in that panel there so that it makes for a nice, clean cable management. And he's also got some custom fan grills coming up there at the side of his radiator and some lovely wooden work that he has obviously stained and makes the grain pop through. looks really nice. And Lots of custom work in this build. He's done lots of, um, as you can see there, a nice artwork coming up. Um, that's phenomenal. I really love that. And really, he needs to be commended on this because this is absolutely fantastic work. Here's those LEDs, as I was telling you about earlier, just lighting up that liquid near the fittings themselves. Overall, very clean and nice design. I really like that you sleeved all of these cables individually to hide all of the cables that were projecting the light into the fittings. That's a really smart idea, so definitely need to be commended for that and just fantastic work, man. So show some love, guys. Um, visit the forum threads, check out all the builds, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed all of these builds. If you did, please like, subscribe, show them some love. And hopefully we'll be able to do a more in-depth video of all of these builds. If everyone is happy with me doing that, I'll obviously get permission from the guys. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Click here to check out our latest custom PCs that we've built from scratch. Do you have a PC you want featured on the channel? Well, click here to see what other PCs have been featured. Are you into gameplay? Click here to see our latest gameplay content. Thanks for watching guys, your feedback is always helpful so be sure to leave a comment down below and we'll see you in the next one.